Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my July favorites and fails. It's not really too many fails. I think there's like two fails maybe. Um, but let's just get into it. I'm going to start with all of my favorites first and then I'll leave the fails at the end. Two things that I want to talk about are hair care products. I recently got my hair done so I've been really looking into specific products that I would need for the care of my now dyed and bleached strands. So I have just been trying to find things that are very hydrating uh, so that the actual like highlighted parts don't get too dried out and also I just wanted to learn how to style my hair a little bit better now that it's like half the length it was. I, this curling wand, it's not like a specific brand. This is Conair. I'm sure any brand would work just fine, but I like the size of curling iron. It's like the perfect size to wrap um, my hair around to do like a nice blowout look. And it gets pretty hot pretty fast too, which I enjoy. It's fairly affordable. I mean, you can find it at Target. I believe that's where I purchased this one from a while back, but I, I, I am really liking how it essentially looks in my now shorter hair. So I don't exactly know what size curling iron this is. Maybe like a one and a half inch barrel, maybe more. I'm horrible with length. I have no idea. The second item is the Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask. This is one of the best masks I've ever used. This one, and I have talked about the one from Eva NYC. It's all, I know that's been in a past favorites video. These are so good. I, my hair feels so incredibly soft with this in. It's fantastic. I absolutely love this stuff. It's one of the best masks I've ever tried and it's got that like, oh man, it's got that classic Amiga smell. I don't even know what the scent is in here. It just smells so stinking good, but yeah, I love this guy, love it. This one surprised me. It surprised me because I always thought that this like product was overrated. It's the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Recovery Lip Mask. This is so good. I know people rave about the lip balms, but this lip mask is so good. I had it with me the entire time that I was out of state to visit my family. It's so good. It's so nourishing on the lips. It has a fantastic scent to it. It almost smells like lemon bars. Like it smells like sugar, but something else like lemon. Like literally, it smells like lemon bars. I love it, it's fantastic. Uh, so I've really been enjoying this. I know Fresh is a pretty steep price point, but if this is something you're willing to splurge uh, for the price tag, I do think it is well worth it. It's really, really good. I'm loving it. Now, a skincare item, I've had this for an entire month and I have been using it pretty religiously. The only time I didn't use it was when I was, you know, out of state for a whole week. Um, I'm blown away at how well this product works. It's brand new. It's a brand new product. It's from Ole Henriksen. It's their Dutopia 20% Acid Night Treatment. Holy moly, you guys, this stuff is so stinking good. And it's just going to be one of those things you're going to have to see if this is that type of product for you. Because it is such a high acid percentage, it's 20%. That's pretty high. Uh, so I do think people with sensitive skin might have an issue with this. I did notice the very first time I tried this, it did give a tingling or burning sensation on my skin, but it went away pretty fast. I have very normal skin. I don't have sensitive skin at all. So this, you know, the first day I tried it, it did affect me, um, but 
getting the results that you get from this, especially just the overnight results are, are unreal. This is such a good product. And is this smells straight up like lemon it smells like lemon and i know a lot of people have an issue with putting any type of um citric or citrus citrusy acid on their face so that might be maybe the only downfall in this but it works so good it works so good it's very exfoliating but you wake up the next day and your skin is so glowy so dewy this is what it looks like on the skin it's a very interesting consistency it almost is more of like a gel serum instead of like a very liquidy serum Ah, it's so good. It's very dewy feeling on the skin. I don't want to say it's oily because it does not feel oily. It's almost, it almost feels like dewy smooth, like um, borderline dimethicone. -y. This claims is, it claims it overhauls texture and reduces the look of dark spots, pores, fine lines, and wrinkles 100%. This helps with texture, 100%. This is so good. I like can't rave enough about this product. I love it. I only use it at night. I do not use it every day. I use it maybe twice a week. I don't think I would recommend you using this every day unless you know your skin and you know your skin, you know, can handle a high acid content of that extent. I personally don't use this every day and I know my skin can handle a lot. The tingling is definitely a response that you're probably going to feel. Next up, as far as a favorite goes, is this from Lancome. It's the Tent Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. This is supposed to be a full coverage concealer and I, I have it on today. I would say it is very high coverage. Um, it has a very nice doe foot applicator i love the applicator it kind of holds all the product on it and it's the perfect amount for each eye like you don't need to use more than that my favorite part about this is the, the actual consistency of it it's a really nice consistency i can sheer this out a lot to cover you know more areas of my face cheeks nose between my brows if i want to wear makeup that way or just keep it you know focused underneath my eyes to brighten around that area love this concealer uh they claim that it is a matte look and i would say it is it's a very natural looking concealer and it is resistant to you sweating like perspiring uh which is interesting i've never really seen a claim like that I really do think it helps against that. I always set um, my concealer, especially if I'm using powder products over top of foundation and concealer. But I have the shade 250. I would say it's a pretty good color match. I could even go slightly yellow, more yellow, and I, that would work just as well. But I mean, it it, it matches fine. Really like this. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this. And it's a big, like, hefty bottle, and it's it's pretty too. It's got the cute little long comb flower on top. Um, this is available at a couple places. You can get it. I'm not sure if you can get it at Ulta. I know you can get this at Sephora. I also know you can get this at Macy's.com. Definitely recommend like getting a sample if you can. It's a really, really nice product. Next up is this lipstick. And I posted about this lipstick on my Instagram. I'm so blown away by this formula. This is the new Bite Beauty Power Move Soft Matte Lipstick. I have the shade Sugar Buns. My big thing about this is I love the formula. I really love the matte bullet lipsticks that you can get from Maybelline. I really love that like smoothing formula, but you can still just apply a good amount and it it's there, like it, it looks good and it looks like a, that soft matte. Like that's a really good way to explain it. This is so similar to the Maybelline formulas. I would say it's definitely better than that. So pretty too. 
It's like a really pretty like nude mauve color. Looks great. It totally has that soft matte look to it for sure. Smells amazing. It's got like a vanilla type of scent to it. Love it. This is a great option for those of you who want to get that Maybelline formula, but you want to stick with something that's vegan, cruelty free. This is your option. So I would highly recommend this. They have a ton of really, really pretty colors. I, like I said, happen to have the shade Sugar Buns. Next up, I'm also wearing today. It is the lashes that I have on. They are the Magnetic Lashes from Kiss. I have the Foam Ink pair in the style entice these lashes are a literal game changer these are the easiest thing to apply i just used the magnetic black liquid liner that it comes with and i did a black um line uh, just above my natural lashes and these lashes literally pop right on and if you need to finesse with them you can easily pull them off, put them back on. Like you're not fussing with all the sticky glue that you need to wait to dry. Like, and it kind of kicks out a step too. Like if you're the type of person that always does a liquid black liner or even just a regular gel liner, this already does that on top for you. So you don't have to worry about doing that. And then you're gluing your lashes on because it's already two products in one. And man, I did not realize how amazing these type of magnetic lashes and liners were. They're so good. If you get the chance to find these, absolute game changer. My sister even said she loves this type of stuff and she does a lot of theater work. She gets casted a lot for theater work and she even said it's like a total game changer and it really is. It's Fantastic. Last up is this highlighter palette that I got from the brand Pixie Beauty. I am so happy that they came out with this highlighter palette. I was sent their, their quartets. It's just these quads that they did, these blush quartets, blush quads. Um, and they had like two blush colors and then two highlighters in them. And the way the highlighters looked they really reminded me of the glowy gossamer duos from Pixie, and the formula just wasn't the same. It wasn't as impactful. It wasn't as pretty. It wasn't as beaming. These babies are. I love, love the highlighters in here. My only issue is, you know, this, this is going to work for many skin tones because they have these such deep and also golden shades over here. I'm never gonna wear those because I'm, I'm white. <laughs> I'm very white. I have very pale skin, I'm very fair skinned. So I'm not gonna use half the shades. That's okay, this was sent to me. You know, you still have at least three, four, possibly five or six shades that you can use on a regular basis if you are my skin shade or lighter. You know, these are some fantastic options. These are so buttery smooth and they look so stinking pretty on the face. Look at that. Oh. Guys, they're so good. They blend like a dream. I'm literally shocked at how well they blend. Again, I have it on my cheeks today that is what's so blinding on my cheeks i actually have two colors the really light like beaming color you see is actually this shade right here that's what i have on the highest point of my cheekbones and then focus down here more where it's still pretty glowy is the pink shade in here it's um which one was it it's this one right here the darker red and i just kind of use it as like a blush topper it turned out really well. I've really been enjoying this. So my, the only way I'm gonna end up using all of these shades will be if I use the darker shades down here as blush toppers. And that's fine, you know, I, I don't mind doing that. I actually am finally starting to enjoy non-matte powder highlighters. I 
love my creams, I love my liquids, but I just don't get on with a shimmery powder blush. I just think it looks so fake, but adding like this color on top of the blush I have already really does look pretty natural and it looks good, at least to me. So I was really excited to get this sent to me. It's with Pixie and Makeup by Denise. And finally, they have something at least as close as they can get to the Glowy Gossamer Duos because these really are stunning. I have two fails. I have two fails. I'm going to start with this one first. This is a fail also from Pixie Beauty. I got this palette sent to me. It's the Pixie and Tina Young Tones and Textures Feeling Fresh palette. This palette is okay. I've tried doing a couple looks with this palette already and I just don't get what I want out of this palette. I really like these matte shades that are in these two rows here. They're great. I've tried using both of these darker shades and they're just a little too patchy for my liking. Some of these shades look really really bright like this pink and this orange and they just look very dull or more subdued on the eyes. They don't stay looking this bright which is kind of a shame because when you're you're looking at this palette, this palette looks super pretty. I love a really good foiled high impact shimmer shadow or a really glittery styled shadow and these just don't do that for me. There are a few shades that I enjoy. So this one is really good. And then this yellow. And they look pretty when used on the finger. And they actually translate really well in the eye. But not with the matte, the matte shades in here. They need just a different formula to go with it. And the other shimmer shades like this green. Which I was super excited to try. It's just... Can, like, can you see how dusty that is? Let me see if I can swatch it really quick. It is a very, very dusty type of shadow. It looks shimmery in the palette and it does not translate on the skin. It looks very lackluster and that's kind of unfortunate. This is a really pretty palette. But, you know, unfortunately for me, it just doesn't cut it in my makeup collection. I do think if you were looking for palettes from Pixie, I don't know if I would recommend this unless, you know, just everything is more like your style of makeup. I would recommend the little nine pan palettes that they have. Um, I cannot remember exactly what they're called. I'll put a photo up on the screen of them. The mattes in there are a thousand times better than the mattes in here, and I enjoy the color stories of those two palettes more than this one. Okay, last but not least, this is a skincare product, and this is an utter fail for me. This is from Goop Beauty. It's their Goop Glow Microderm Instant Glow Exfoliator. Um... It's supposed to be like a physical and a chemical exfoliating product, which is fine, except what I want out of a physical exfoliant is something that has a lot of those exfoliating beads. There's not enough of that physical exfoliant product in here to make a difference, if that makes sense. I just wish there was more of the, those granules in there to really like, clean your face, you know. Also, this is the 1.7 fluid ounce jar you can get. I will leave a photo on the screen of how much it costs on the Sephora site. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is like $125, $130. Do not buy this. If you really want something that is very similar to this, Get the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask from Peter Thomas Roth. That is fantastic. It's less than half the price of this. I think that's $58, somewhere around there. Oh my gosh, this is just so expensive for what you're getting. 
you can literally just get any type of clay mask. There's products at the drugstore that are physical exfoliants and they're a hundred times better than the physical exfoliant part of this product. And you're literally just paying for the name, the goop name. I did not buy this on my own. This was sent to me. And I am so glad because I would have been so mad if I spent over a hundred dollars on this. I wouldn't, wouldn't be as mad if it was like $40 or less. But again, like I said, the products that I have bought that are $40 or, or less actually do way more. Like uh, my philosophy set that I had, it was like a physical exfoliant tub. And then you added this liquid on top of your face after you put that exfoliant on your face that product made such more of a difference than this one and that is like the closest thing that i had in my collection to the price of this and it's still nowhere near this price so no please 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 save your money don't even get the the smaller version save your money get just a different physical exfoliant product altogether please save save your money save your money. That is absolutely everything with my favorites and fails. I hope it was interesting. I had a lot of makeup that was sent to me this month, this past month. So it was really nice to have a bunch of things to be able to really dig deep into and just get to enjoy it. Um, that is everything you guys. Um, I'm going to cut it off here and I'll just see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.